Hello again, PG Ty here. Welcome again to Modern 80s Basics. Today we're going to be working on some straightforward uh, striking styles. We're going to work on a few of them that are really related to um, striking with uh, uh, bladed weapons. As we cover today's uh, striking styles, don't forget that we've also got some basics on just the mechanics of striking, what, you're, what part of the stick you're using, how you're holding the sticks. So don't forget to check out our earlier videos. They're available up there in the corner. So the first one's going to be banda y banda, which is side to side. So with this one, you're just going at a horizontal angle wherever you're aiming to. So imagine you're aiming at the head, at the ribs, at the elbows, at the hands, at the knees, right? At the knee. However it is, it's just horizontal, okay? And you notice that I'm turning the blade over so that I'm slashing each way, okay? When we convert that to a stick, it becomes a strike. But that's the first one, banda y banda. The next one is basically the vertical version of the same thing. So I'm going to be going slashing up and down. Okay, so up and down, up and down, up and down. Okay, up and down, up and down, up and down. So I'm turning the blade again each way. Slash up, slash down, slash up, slash down. Okay, so that's rompida. Um, related to that, then other up down type motion is is up down, um, tas baba, um, and that is. If you notice this blade has a, a false edge at the tip, and what we're going to do is we're going to slash down and rip up, slash down, rip up, okay? So that is just straight away, you're not changing the orientation of the blade, you're just going down and up, okay? So you can imagine the slash is a, is a strike downwards, but ripping up though could be ripping with the tip, it could also be guiding a weapon to the side so that you can come in and finish. So if something comes in, block, slash, okay? So that's up, down. Um, lastly, we've got, uh, of those types, we've got figure eight. So the first figure eight we teach is upwards figure eight, okay? And you notice that I'm using the hips. So it's slash up, slash up, slash up, slash up. But these upwards angles are are at an angle, okay? It's like you're turning in a, an eight on its side or it's an infinity side, but that's, that's figure eight, figure de ocho, ocho ocho, whatever you want to call it. Um, there's also a downward version, and that is ones and twos, whether it's at the wrist or big, big slashes, ones and twos. Okay. Next striking style. And then lastly, we've got a sunkiti. So I, I mentioned when we went up down that this rip is coming up. Any that motion by itself is a sunkiti. So it's this tip attack that rips across, tip attack that rips across. And it can come at angles or horizontal. So I could do a sunkiti at this angle here, or even at this angle. Imagine going for the eye, imagine going for scooping a weapon, oh, and then I'm going to come in to slash. With striking styles, with striking styles, it's very important to remember that striking styles are usually used as the counter after you block, checked, and counter, or maybe a follow-up. The reason we practice a lot of strikes on that is to get the flow going, but really, you're gonna have a burst of three, or four, or five, or, or so uh, strikes that you're gonna do, and, you, and it's important also that you can remember that you can mix up your striking styles when you're applying that. But we're doing individual striking styles today, working on basics and targeting and managing uh, how you use that other hand. All right, with all these striking styles, it's really important that your other hand is doing something, it's alive. For banda y banda, every time I open, I'm going to be striking or controlling or checking, okay? Every time. For rompida, I'm actually helping each way, okay? And I might actually sneak into something um, each time. Tas baba, I'm ready to sneak in um, at a moment's notice, but it, it might not be as part of the, of the exchange. Figure eight. It's the same thing. I'm going to be, I'm going to be checking each of those times. Okay. That checking hand can be heavy, and we're going to show that in a second. Okay. So when you use your striking styles, uh, and you're practicing in the air, and you're even practicing your other hand, it's important to visualize what you're doing. So let me uh, borrow my son Connell here, and he's going to strike just to give me something to work with because I want to sh I want you to watch my left hand. We're going to be doing banda y banda. Watch my left hand. Okay. 
So he strikes at me, I block, I pass it, I hit. As I pass, I'm pushing him, I'm pushing him, I'm pushing him, and I'm just doing several strikes, okay? So I am managing him and turning him. I like to, when I do these, I like to basically work my way around to the back side of him. Okay, okay. So if he's over there and he does this other strike, steps in, um, I'm going to be blocking, okay? I'm going to hit, I'm going to push, hit, right? I'm hitting and I'm pushing him each time, okay? Boom, boom, okay? And I control him. And I'm training um, the positioning as I work around him and turn him around and the managing. In real life, what they're going to try to do is recover, okay? So just to see things a little better, I'm going to have him do a backhand strike for the first one. Um, and then he's going to react naturally. I'm slowing it down, so he may not actually have time to do that. But I want, to, want you to see what happens when there's an active person. You just got to make sure that you follow through with your striking. You might have to change your targets and control. So if he strikes, I boom, I push, boom, 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 okay? So I follow him and I hit him. And the pushing, the heavy hand is very, very helpful. All right, I'm going to stay from my point of view a little bit, okay? He's going to strike. I'm going to block, strikes, I block, I push it, right? I push it and I hit right away. And I push and I hit. And I push and I hit. I push and I hit. I push and hit. Okay? So, as you see that I'm managing him, managing my distance, picking my targets for the new situation. So I'm not doing this. He holds out his stick. I've done my strike. He stands there like a dumb head. So I just go like this. I'm not doing that. Okay? There's some liveness to it. So that's Bandi Banda. It's the same thing with upwards figure eight. And I'll just show it once. Okay, so he does a backhand strike again, a block, and now I'm just doing this guy. This guy. Boom. Okay, this guy. Boom. Okay? I'm doing that. So same thing. Same way. So he does a, for this one we'll do Rompita with a with a forehand strike. Okay. So he comes in, I come up, I strike. I strike, I strike, I strike. And then he tried to recover, and I passed that hand. That's why that hand is important, okay? So the other thing with Rompita, with the backhand strike, is here, if I pass, okay? I pass, I pass, I'm, I'm passing that into the strike, passing that into the strike so we get a scissoring action, okay? As I strike him, okay? And then up down is much more straightforward. He does a backhand strike, I go here, I, strike that tip, or with up down, I'm going here, I strike, if I strike this tip here, right, and I do that, okay? So, same thing on the forehand strike, I go here, I might strike up before I strike down. And whatever he gets in the way, he's gonna get hit, okay? So, that's your uh, up down, Ta'as Baba. All right, for uh, Rompita and Ta'as Baba, there's a, a nice application I want you to do. It's based on if somebody were doing Redonda, Redonda, or a Sinawali. If they're doing a Sinawali, you notice my hands are, are not moving a whole lot, right? Even if I do a big Sinawali, there's an eye of the storm where the hands are. Or if I'm doing Redonda, there's an eye of the storm. So he's doing Redonda. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing the, first I'll do Ta'as Baba, I'll do up, down, and right in the center of that, you'll notice that I'm hitting his hands and I'm not getting hit. Okay? I hit his hands, I hit his hands, I hit his hands, I hit his hands. I just go up and down and I hit his hands. I don't get hit at all, even though he's trying to hit me. Okay? So that's a good way to break up his spin. If he's also doing the, uh, the Sinawalis, it's the same thing. And so Ta'as Baba is just up, down in the middle of that stream to break it up. If, uh, if he does the same thing, I can also do a rompida that way. So he's doing the same thing, and I go slash, 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 and I don't get hit any of that time, okay? So that's something to think about with that one. So just like for the slashing ones, just like the slashing ones we just did, the Sunkiti applications also require uh, control with the other hand. So if I steal Connell again, um, he does say, a backhand strike doesn't really matter. I'm going to go in there and block and immediately go for that eye. Rip across and go for the other eye or down by the neck. Okay. The interesting thing about that is even if he does a backhand strike this other way, if I go through, boom, I can do that. Strike the eye, right? 
okay, and I control this. And then I might switch to Bobby Bubba, and then Bobby Bubba. So now I'm mixing them. What I like to look at with some kitties is the other thing you can do. So some kitty, we got these attacks here, right? To the eyes, to the soft tissues, whatever. But we've also got control with the back of the weapon. So if he comes in with an overhead strike and I pass it, I can go straight into the Sankiti and Sankiti. Okay. So I was emphasizing I'm doing Sankiti both, both ways, but really when I pass that overhead strike, I might just pass it and come back with Banda and Banda. Okay. All right, for the overhand strike versus Sankiti or also up down. So if he comes in overhead strike and I pass, then Sankiti, Sankiti, Sankiti. Okay, go to the bad points, right? Okay. Um, you can also do it with for the up down. If he does an overhead strike and I pass, I did up down. That's up and down, right? He does this, I go up, down, up, down, up, down. Okay. Professor used to love that one a lot. But you can also pass the other way. If he does overhead strike again, I pass this way, which is some key. I have that guy. Okay. So there's your targeting on that guy. And we'll use a wooden dummy just for a few more placements. Okay on the wooden dummy. Imagine these are either sticks or arms. So if they're arms, this will be the hand and the shoulder. If they're sticks, uh, this will be the tip. So for Bundy Bunda, right? So I've got in here, he's come in with a strike. We'll just say it's this strike. I control, boom. I control, boom. I control, boom. And that's Bundy Bunda. Even if I go high or low, that's Bundy Bunda. So side to side. For Robida, same thing. I might block, boom, and I might go. Hit those arms, hit those controls here. Okay. And then up down. I'm gonna go right in the eye of the hurricane. Up down, up down, up down. Figure eight. I might go to the head, I might go to the arm, I might go to the elbows. Might go for the hip, floating ribs, head, floating ribs, and continue on there. Same thing for the downward figure eights, same deal. Uh, for Sankit, I might block, hit the eyes, hit the eyes, hit the eyes, block that arm that's coming in and hit the eyes again. Okay. Floating ribs, floating ribs, eyes. So this is hooking the incoming weapon or striking, or it can be both, right? Incoming weapon is hooked while I'm striking. All right, hope you enjoyed. Um, don't forget to check out the Carenza video. We've got a, a beginning Carenza, so you're putting a lot of these striking styles together or, or striking uh, other ways you know how to strike. Um, also, if this is not super comfortable for you, we've got a couple videos earlier on, on on basics of striking and holding a stick even. So, uh, hope you enjoyed, and we'll catch you next time.